I want to take a moment to celebrate West Shore Junior Senior High School and their competitive cheer team in an inaugural season to remember. I don't know if everybody in here remembers, but we had a we we rushed to have the opportunity, and thanks to the individuals that are inside this room, the team is here along with coach and school administrators. Please come to the front because you guys are amazing. So come on up. This team was, this was the first year of the cheer team, something that I wanted to see happen for this school. And these are the students with their coach went to nationals in year number one at Walt Disney World. They competed and I, actually it was on TV and I saw that. Like literally when you told me about this and we started moving forward with it, it was running all weekend on TV. They competed in the co-division, finishing 10th in the nation. Guys, it's 10th in the nation off of the first year we had a program. I just wanted to say congratulations to the students and Coach Caitlin Hoskins. We are happy for you and proud of you and dedicated in talent. Coach Hoskins, do you have to say a few words? Yeah, so. <laughs> Is it on? Yeah, oh, wait, let me turn it on for you. Hang okay. on, we can do that up here. There you go. Can you hear me? Okay. Yeah, I just wanted to say uh, thank you so much to the school board for supporting this endeavor. Um, we had a really amazing first season. Um, so thankful for all of our parents, our hardworking athletes, our administrators, everybody that made this possible. Um, the opportunities that this sport is affording our cheerleaders. Uh, we had two tryout for college teams. We have a few more that want to cheer in college in the future. So that was the whole point of bringing competitive cheer to Brevard schools. So we're very excited for our our first year and all that we accomplished. We never imagined we would have such a successful year. Um, with the assistance of Coach Hardy over here, um, we just can't be more proud of our athletes. How, how, how did you do it? Like, you go 10th in the nation on the first year you put a team together? I mean, what are you guys, what kind of special sauce do you guys have? <laughs> a lot of hard work. Um, a lot of uh, blood, sweat, and tears went into this season. Um, I don't know if you guys know how it works. We went to Tampa, you had to qualify to go, be able to go to the national competition. So they only selected four teams and we were one of the four. So we were really excited with that. And then um, we competed against 48 teams on day one at Walt Disney World. And then we made it to day two, which we were just happy to be there. So we didn't expect anything and then uh, it was announced that the 48 teams, they took 15 to finals day three. So we were screaming and crying in the hotel room. Uh, so excited for that. So um, it's definitely a, a core memory that I think we will all remember. Miss Hardy, thank you so much. Uh, many people don't understand, but Miss Hardy was pivotal for making all of this happen as she completely would not stop saying we need to have competitive cheer. So Miss Hardy, do you want to take a second? Oh, well, thank you. First of all, thank you to the board and all the um, BPS staff and administration for making it possible for us to have competitive cheer. Mr. Susan's right. Um, I would not leave him alone until uh, he said yes to competition cheer because I knew this could be the outcome for Brevard. And although we might be the only team in Brevard that went to nationals this year, um, there's many more to come. And um, what many people don't know is on top of preparing a competitive team, they also have to cheer at basketball games, um, do pep rallies at school, and be incredible students. So these athletes um, are not just like, oh, they play their one football game every week. They're cheering on Tuesday night, Wednesday night, going to practice on Thursday, going to competition on Saturday. Like They really have full schedules, and they were incredible. Like Coach Hoskins said, um, she really put in a lot of time, effort, and planning into this. And with the help of the parents and the community, the school administrators, um, we came in 10th, and this year we're bringing back way more than 10th, too. Nice. Uh, well, in many people, as we go to expand the athletic options for our students, this is the reason why, because you have the smiles of tonight and the successes that they have. I wanted to say thank you. Um, we're going to steal a second. Did you guys have, did you guys want to, like, put a routine together? You guys going to tumble in here? Do you need mats? Like, what do we need to do here? Well, we thought you were doing the tumbling. I am. I, I, I'm very good at doing, like, all kinds of somersaults and yeah, everything like that. That's what we heard. No, uh, they're going to do the school fight song, which is part of their competition routine that won them 10th in the nation. So. Do we need to remove the ceiling tiles up yeah, here for we're anything? we're not going to be doing any stunting tonight because it's not quite tall enough. But you'll see the rest of it, and it's really cool. Hey, I want to say to each one of you, you are the competitive wing to a lot of, of cheerleaders that wanted to go compete. And we never had that opportunity inside of our county, and now they do. So your success will drive others to join and be successful. So I wanted to say thank you for that. Do you want to give a team captain a second to talk? Come on. Yeah. Come on. Yeah, go. 
<laughs> she knows who she is. <laughs> Fill us in. Hi, I'm Riley, and I just want to say thank you so much to the school board for helping us and their support along the way. It sounds like cheesy, but we really wouldn't have been able to do it like without you guys, especially funding our mats. We started off with three mats, but and then we got to 12, which is like the full panel like we do at competitions, and that was really helpful, and thank you so much for recognizing us today. And I just love my team, and I'm so happy with what we've accomplished this past year. Good stuff.